analysis and award by line. So this is the next function which you can potentially use to analyze the quotations received from supplier. But in this case, you can go and drill down to a next step of line level analysis. And based on individual lines you can award, you can either award the whole quantity as you have requested from the suppliers or you can also award part of the quantity. For instance, if you say I'm looking for 100 hard disk of computer drive, but instead of granting an award for the entire 100 hard disk to one supplier, you can subdivide that to multiple different quantities and grant to multiple suppliers which have responded to your RFQ. That feature is a standard feature and it's supported by Oracle sourcing. So let's understand how one can analyze by line and then we will also understand how one can split the quantities to multiple suppliers. So here I'm going to minimize this and we'll go into Oracle applications. And here you can see in the RFQ, you go to actions and then award by line, hit the go button and you can select one individual line. So for example, this first line hard drive a series and you can go and first hit the award button and within this you can see that individual quotes from each of the different suppliers are listed over here and if you want you can directly go to the quote but at the same time you can see the pricing being provided by the suppliers and what is their rank and this is what we have set up as a part of our RFQ to show the rank instead of the pricing factors as one, two, three. So we just decided to show the rank as win or lose. And you can see that this particular supplier, Industrial Wrestler, has got the best quotation price and this is presently winning. So what you can do, you can either go ahead and directly award the entire quantity to this particular supplier, or maybe you find that this is like a seasonal supplier. He would supply me well in winter season, but in another season, like around Christmas season, the second supplier would give me a better service. So in that case, subdivide the quantity into part. For instance, in this case, we have procuring the quantity of 10. So you can subdivide into six and four, six quantity goes to industrial wrestler, four goes to allied manufacturing and so on. So that gives you a flexibility to subdivide the quantity. But at this time, you also have an option to do a little more comparison of what the supplier has quoted you in terms of the line pricing and if at all they were line level attributes or cost factors then you can also compare them using this feature. So you can click the number of suppliers that have responded and hit the compare button and here you can compare individual quotations that the supplier has provided in relation to this particular RFQ line item. So here you can see the pricing or the unit pricing the supplier has quoted and if at all they had a existing purchase order or blanket purchase agreement then those price will be listed over here in the form of current unit price. Fine. And based on that current unit price a savings percentage and a savings factor would be determined. So currently none of these suppliers have got an existing purchase order or a blanket purchase agreement in relation to this particular item and hence these details for savings are not shown over here. But had they got a PO or a BPA then you would be able to see such details here. And as you could see you can also view the cost factor related details over here and if at all you had multiple cost factors you could do a comparison of them and you can find a best case scenario over here and as I said based on your internal decision you can grant the line quantities let's say for our scenario we'll grant let's say three to industrial wrestler and a quantity of two to allied manufacturing fine and then you can write an internal note say something like this no award approval is required because of smaller quantity. Fine. That's an internal note you can write for both the awards, but you can write a separate note to the supplier saying, please arrange 
your employee certification for assembling artists something like this just for an example but you can write anything so when you complete the part process a notification will be sent and within that notification you will see this internal note which the supplier can view it now once you are done with this you can proceed ahead by saving the award so action save the award you've got other options over here which I'm going to explain you a little while later so let's save the award and then as a next step you can proceed ahead and complete rest of the award process so the rest of the process I'm going to show you a little while later in our course